Morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Now, I've been talking to myself for the last 18 minutes. This, this app, I love it. I do, I love it, I love it. But I've been talking to myself for the last 18 minutes. I was live in a parallel universe. You guys just didn't see me. It is true. <laughs> it is true. And I've been reading all the comments there. But anyway, anyway, rather belatedly live, let's say 25 minutes, uh, we're going to be reviewing some news in regards to a youngster. There was a youngster who got recognised for his work away from Arsenal, another Arsenal player. And also some, some injury news as such. Injury news? We spoke about these CBs, not CB radios, but these CB centre-backs. Injuries. Are they going to be playing? Are they not going to play? Are they? We're, 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 I'm not sure. I, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. And there's some other news kind of sandwiched in between that there. On this repeat of the Monday early evening show. See you in a few seconds. Yes, indeed. Welcome back to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. So I, I've been talking to myself for the last say, 19 minutes. I kid you not. I pressed the go live button, went live. And I was talking, did the new segments. I think, hang on a minute, but there's no one in the live chat. So I looked on YouTube and it said, yeah, I could see all the people in the live chat. But it said I hadn't, I hadn't gone live yet. I've been talking to myself for the last nine, oh, 19, 20 minutes. Anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What you guys need to do now, like it says there, is to subscribe to Canon Boy TV. Subscribe, please, please. Anyway, um, first off the bat, an American um, phrase as such. Um, I, I've been reading some conflict news, conflictive news in regards to the CBs, uh, Ben White and Gabrielle. Now, speaking ahead of the trip to St. James's Park, Arteta said he would have answers today, i.e. yesterday, regarding the fitness of defensive pair uh, Benjamin White and Gabriel Magallanes. Uh, with that said, judging by the training pictures, it could be safe to assume that um, it's probably touch and go because neither of them were spotted at training, the training session. Or the likes of um, the majority of the squad who all trained. Uh, according to The Guardian, here comes the, the, the conflicting news. According to The Guardian, Ben White is expected to start for the Gunners tonight after he was deemed fit enough to come off the bench in their clash, uh, deemed not fit, sorry, uh, in the North London derby. Rob Holden, as of course we know, is suspended uh, for Arsenal after he was sent off in the North London derby, so he will not be available. Um, yeah, I, 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 I've got no idea. I think what it probably is, we, he, we're going we're gonna to wait until... Not we, but he's going to wait until the last minute to do a fitness test with these two CBs. I think it would be a massive risk to play Ben White, start him off. Because those of you who know about playing football or play football, being fit and match fit are completely two different things. I think he might feature, but I can't see Ben White playing 90 minutes. I can't see it. But then again, anything goes with Arsenal. Anything goes with Arsenal. Um, the other news, uh, some really heartwarming news I've got to say in regard to this youngster here. Arsenal Loney Willem Siliba wins League One Young Player of the Award uh, after a fine season with Olympic uh, Marseille. Uh, Willem Siliba has you know, provided a timely reminder to Arsenal of his growing abilities after being named as League One Young Player of the Year. Now, the centre-back 21 has excelled during a season-long loan stint at Olympic Marseille an ever-present defensive rock for Jorge Sampaoli's um, uh, side, uh, making 51 appearances uh, across all competitions. Now, Saliba was recognised for his fine efforts across the 2021-22 campaign uh, at the latest trophies. And um, uh, Olympic Art Marseille do want to retain his, his um, services. Now, Sampaoli says, in relation to his situation at the club, I hope that there is a possibility for us to retain a player like him who knows the team. But I don't know if it depends on Olympic Marseille, uh, William or Arsenal. I don't know the possibilities in that case. I can only give you my opinion, if my opinion is worth anything, but for William Saliba, 
I would probably say to him, he's better off staying where he is, to be honest. Would you, would you concur? Saliba should stay at Olympic Marseille. The guy made his international debut in the senior squad for France. Just been named young player of the season. Anyway, anyway. William or Robert. Well done, my son. Well done. Keep it up. Keep it up. Um, what else was there? Was there anything else I was going to talk about? Ben White, William Saliba, and that was it. <laughs> there's just two new segments there, and there's a frigging fly. I just swatted it away, and it's come back. It's just falling on the floor. <laughs> the frigging fly. Sorry about that, people. <laughs> Bring a fly. Hate flies. Hate flies. Uh, right, so we did a poll in regards to the game today. The game today, yes, we're playing against Newcastle. Yeah, the magpies. The, the... Anyway, it always seems like all the games are crucial, important games. Crucial and important games. How can that be so? All the games are crucial, important games. Anyway, 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 let's go into the poll. The poll of the polls. Uh, so the poll was a, the prediction for, for today's game. Uh, you can still go into the platform, look out for the community tab, and you see all the voting we've done over the last three and a half years. But on this particular one, Newcastle versus Arsenal, uh, choose only one. 856 votes and the flyer has just... The flight... <laughs> That's four times I hit it. But not hit it hard enough. <laughs> 856 votes. Uh, 10 comments and 29 likes. The numbers have fallen as so. So 7% of you believe it's going to be a draw. 15% of you believe it's going to be a win for Newcastle. And 78% of you, I had to look down, 78% of you believe it's going to be a win for Arsenal. I'll give you my prediction at the end of uh, this show. It's supposed to be a short show. As long as I get the cooking done before the missus comes home. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So I'll tell you something very, very uh, quickly. No, it's, it's a joke. It's just uh, anic anecdotes. Well, anyway, so I work in a private school. And the teacher's teaching. I'm supporting. I'm mentoring. I'm, I'm te you know, TAing. Well, actually, we're not. We're not called. We're, we're called learner support assistants. Anyway, so one of the boys, again, uh, quite talkative, uh, funny, funny fellow, funny fellow. And he's 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 you know, only seven years of age. That's a big and fly. <laughs> so he says, "Oh, um, I live in the same street as Miko Arteta." I said, "Well, I feel sorry for you." <laughs> and he looked at me like. What are you talking about? You support Arsenal. Mr. Alex. <laughs> Mr. Alex, what are you talking about? I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, please accept my condolences. <laughs> that was naughty of me. That was very, very naughty. All right. So what I is going to do, I am going to go into live chat now. <sighs> Get this and see. Let's see. Let's see who's here. Right. Uh, okay. 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 All right. So I've missed the majority of the comments. I, I, I just don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I was just here talking to myself for like 19 minutes. Say, okay, but they, they, oh, but there's not. There's no live comments coming through. I looked on my phone. It said you're not live. I said, but I pressed the button. Anyway. Anyway. Nasa King. I'm not sure why you've got angry faces for. Well, what's, what's going on? Anyway, Lynn. Lynn, Lynn understands. Says, bless you. Thank you, thank you for that. Uh, you can't see me. We can't see you, mate. You can't see me. Of course, you can see me. I was under the impression uh, that they travel to Newcastle. Well, that's what I said. It's, it's to me, it's conflicting news. Are they playing or not playing? Are they... Anyway, uh, Lynn Simpson, the game uh, is in uh, Geordie Land. It is in Geordie Land. Geordie Land. 
Maybe Ben White will play at the first half, or maybe he'll play the second half. I, I don't know, maybe. Uh, do you think Senegal would have uh, got the award if he had stayed in the Premier League as there is more competition? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, with all the things he had suffered, the loss of his, of his mother, and there was that precarious video that he did there, and then being loaned out, what, three times? Um, nah, uh, you know, they say things happen for a reason. And I don't think that he would have been named young player of the year. I mean, you'd probably say the more competition with his, uh, his, his uh, gunner mates, Arsenal mates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, DWTT is in the house. Uh, hello, all. Hello to you. Uh, give Saliba Arsenal play of the year. But still not sure why Nasa King has got that angry face. What you, what you, what's wrong? What's wrong? If if you if if it's because I haven't read your your comment, well, I haven't seen it. Can't see it. Can't see it. I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm a Geordie and I was born just near Genesis, Genesis Park. However, the Newcastle passion is not the same as it was. It's funny because um, there was a previous contributor and he lives near Newcastle. He says that, you know, the, the, um, the passion, the, you know, the, uh, the Toon Army. But anyway, you'd know better than I would anyway, wouldn't you? So. <clears throat> Second being nominated for a uh, uh, Premier League Player of the Season Award and Premier League Young Player Award as well. That would be miraculous if he got it, really. Uh, there comes a point uh, that confidence becomes a weakness and Arteta has done laps. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to try and do? Let me see if I can if I can capture some of the, um, the comments that I missed. Uh, let's see if it, if it will allow me to go back and see, because I do want to try and give everyone a chance, although I won't be able to put it up on the screen because, again, I can't see uh, sorry, any of the previous comments. So all I can do is just read it from my mobile phone again. So it still says, it still says waiting, waiting for Canon for you. What are you talking about? Anyway, let's have a look. Right, so. All right, okay, so I can I can read it from here, but I can't see it on the screen there. So these were the comments which came in before I went live, <laughs> before I went live. Uh, 25 past five, or 23 minutes after the hour of, uh, of 5 p.m. So Lynn um, said, this is Lynn's uh, first comment on in the live chat, and she said, uh, I, I must just this, I watched a video of Conte when he was at Chelsea. Uh, he was criticizing Spurs and Arsenal, saying that they could only get substandard managers. Now, fast forward, he's at Spurs. Uh, John says, uh, come on, you uh, rip, uh, roaring gunners. Sorry about this. Um, just put this, just quickly remind you guys that William Saliba was voted a young player of the, of the season in the French League. So congratulations to him. Well done. And also, we're still waiting. What well, first, I'm waiting for some news in regards to the CBs. Benjamin White and Gabriel Magalhães. There's just too much conflicting uh, news coming out, whether they're going to be featuring or not featuring uh, come game time later on this evening. And it is an 8 p.m. kickoff. Right, so I'm just reading these comments that came up live. Again, I was talking to myself for like 90 minutes. And I pressed the live button. I did. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Lynn says, uh, come on, you gunners, uh, uh, check in the ref. And last time uh, he, he ref uh, Newcastle. Se seven yellow cards uh, went, uh, were to Newcastle. According to says, so my question is very simple. Since Unai's fifth uh, was such a bottle job, according to some, what will fifth be for Miko Arteta? Uh, John Nagisa says, uh, Lynn Simpson, he's probably uh, got cards with our hearts on them. <laughs> And Colin says, uh, how about check the first three games this season? Or Southampton, Brighton and Palace, just recently. Stop with the refs, uh, really. Uh, Lynn says, uh, John, personally, uh, Emery had a much more uh, experienced team. So for the age of this team, they have done very well, especially being the youngest in the Premier League. And uh, Then she follows up by saying, now, when we play Brighton, we put goals away. And that first goal should have stood. Colin says, Unai had a better team, uh, is, is, is what you're saying. 
and says, I think so. Uh, what do you think? And then uh, Ashley says, hey, up, Gunas. Rather belatedly. Again, guys, I was just trying to catch up. There's, there, was, there was so many comments that I missed uh, in, in the beginning there. There's not much I can say or do. All right. I'll go back into this one here. Let's see. Where are we? Uh, I remember this one already. Uh, Colin says that there comes to a point of confidence becomes a weakness, and Arteta has done laps on that track already now. And Colin, uh, Arteta is learning on the job. His uh, his bluff, it's so far. And Static's in the house. Um, he says, uh, "Hey, Alex, and hey to you as well, my brother. I hope you keep it well." Uh, what I mean is, uh, what the players uh, that they are bringing in now, we know it is for the, the money uh, and not for the badge. Ah, gotcha. I gotcha. I, I understand it now. I understand it now. So, guys, come on with your predictions. What's your prediction for the game tonight? Game time. It's game time, isn't it? Yeah, my goodness. Newcastle versus Arsenal. Ah, dare me. Come in the live chat and let me know your predictions for the game before I wrap up this one. I'm going live again. Because I did press a live button. I was there talking to myself for 19 minutes. They can argue. Oh, yeah. After you go, oh, it's a bit strange. There's, there's no, there's no, nobody loves me. There's nobody watching. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's refresh this page here before we do wrap up this show here. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, here we go. 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 Guys, we're just making sure that we are running live and parallel uh, in another parallel universe. <sighs> yeah, on Twitter. Pow! Right, it's done. So come on, guys. Predictions? Any questions you want to ask me or talk amongst yourselves if you want? Come right here. Uh, have a look here. Ashley says, uh, using technical issues uh, when the old man's nap went on longer than expected. You're talking about yourself again, Ashley. Cheeky so and so. So cheeky. Uh, half penalty for Nketiah and a goal for <laughs> Smith Emma Smith Rose. Is it me or has Emma Smith Rose kind of got off, gone off the boil? Has he gone off the boil a little bit? As I'm not very well at the moment. Oh my goodness, I can't be sick, uh, but I should be better in a day or two. I hope uh, you're well. Well, no, I hope you are. You get better, bro. Get well. Get well soon. Yeah, so everyone say hello to Static, man. Everyone says hello, Static. Hello, hello, Static. Get better, man. Get better. Get well. Assemble. Uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. I think uh, we all know after the ten, <laughs> the first ten minutes. I'm still yet to give my prediction, and it might upset a lot of people. Eight likes, hit the likes button, says Static. Uh, nice shot, Alex. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I was rushing back. It was supposed to, it was supposed to be a, a Canon project, but I thought, you know, I've got to do a short show anyway because I've got to do the cooking and tidy up before my wife gets home. And uh, I, I changed the coding, which probably explained why something happened. I changed the title, changed the thumbnail, and that's oh, it's going to be a short show anyway. And what happens? I've been going for like almost 45 minutes. A so called short show. But yeah, oh, so the reason is, yeah, I come straight from work. And yeah, but thank you for that, bro. Thank you, thank you, bro. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we lost our first three games, so now to lose our last three. Oh, my goodness. All right, I give you my prediction. My predi I'm going for either, an, either a 1 1 or a 2 2. A 1-1 one, one or a 2-2. Two, two. Take it down to the wire. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah? Against uh, Everton. And I, I've got to say, my brother and myself, we are debating whether we're going to be outside the Emirates. Not just recording, but going live on the final game, home game of the season. So look out for that. If we do, I, I've still got to speak, speak to my brother because ideally, I would like my brother to be interviewing. We have never done live um, interviews. We've done pre-recorded videos and pre-recorded interviews, but we've never done um, live interviews. 
So if we do decide to be at the Emirates come Sunday, come and say hello. You might even feature live and direct on Canon Troy TV. And if you do, please keep it clean because I don't want to knock anybody out. <laughs> How dare you swear on Canon for the TV? How dare you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. My mum wouldn't have that. My mum wouldn't have that. Yeah. My son hurting somebody. How dare my son hurt somebody? The yeah, mum, they did it first, mum. They called me bold. Oh, yeah, I'm bold, aren't I? Our quality says 2 2. Yeah, I'm going to go for either 1 1 or 2 2. Uh, John's going for 1 0 to the Arsenal. 1 0 to the Arsenal. Uh, that's not enough uh, for top uh, top four positions. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, in my opinion, uh, if that was Eddie Howe at uh, Bournemouth and we were playing uh, them, uh, there would be uh, more optimism. Do you really think so? I just think. Look at the first three games. Okay, you're right. yeah, we're playing against, yeah, yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, Man City. <laughs> but we couldn't even beat Brentford the first game of the season. We lost against Crystal Palace. So, I don't know, man. Then I, I, I don't think so. I think there would, there would not be, there wouldn't be optimism. There'd be an, anxiety. The people would be anxious. The players would be like on, on the nerve ends. I don't think, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. But it's, it's your opinion. Uh, draw, Alex. So you want Arsenal to, to depend on that team to drop points? Now, uh, just win, Gunners. Just win. no, I understand that, but I'm just I'm from. It's a prediction. I'm giving my prediction. Yeah. Listen, I want Arsenal to win. I want them to beat them lot down the road, but they couldn't do it. But actually, I came, I came up with a, was it a 2-1 loss for Arsenal anyway? I'm going for a draw, a 2-2 draw. But I understand what you mean. No, of course, we, we, we want Arsenal to win. But I'm giving a prediction, Gary. A prediction. 1-0 to the Arsenal. 1-0 to the Arsenal. 2-2. Uh, uh, so all these Arteta fans can have two sets of referees to whine about. Uh, do you know what defenses are available? Um, no, because I, I was talking about one of the seconds was about the CVs, the centre backs. You know, Benjamin White and Gabriel. Conflicting reports. One report says, you know, it's still touch and go. Another one says, oh no, Ben White is going to play tonight. So you can, right, okay, then it's eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Take, you know, take your pick. I don't know. But one thing's for sure, uh, Rob Holding won't be playing. <laughs> Rob Holding won't be playing. And we have played Bournemouth and beaten them. Eddie Howe this time has had the uh, luxury of an uh, open book, an open checkbook, an open checkbook, a bank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie Howe, you know what? Forget about the checkbook. It just it, here's the bank. Take the whole bank. Take whatever you need. <laughs> That live show would be massive, Alex. Yeah, well, you know, again, because my brother said to me, you know, what what are, what are you doing on Sunday? I said, well, I ain't going to the Emirates. So, oh, no, I was thinking about going live at the Emirates. And you know what would happen, innit? Old Muggins would be the one doing all the commentating. Because my brother is not, you know, my brother's a little bit shy when it comes to doing, like, interviewing. I'm there, I'm just in there. Excuse me, can you know, I interview you? I mean, I was wearing my pants the first time we did interviews. And my poor wife, I think what was it Austin, was it one of the games we was in Europe? And it was it was late, it started to rain, and my poor wife was was filming for me. And I was thinking, ah, I can't come all, well, all this way. <laughs> we'll come in the rain to the Emirates only for, for me to actually no, nah, you know what, Mrs. I don't fancy doing the interviews. I had to do it. I had to do the interviews. And boy, we got some real corkers to the point where I remember we we I interviewed uh, a mother and her son and some other people, and they gave me some wonderful interviews. When I got home, listen listen to it back. I said, There's no sound. There's no sound. There was no sound. I didn't put in the microphone properly. I was gutted, absolutely gutted. 
So, you know, my brother is not, is not, you know, it's got, it's got the gift of the gab, but when it comes to actually talking to people and saying, excuse me, will you, my brother's, yeah, he's a, he's a little bit like that. Whereas I'm, I'm less green behind the ears. I'm more red and white behind the ears. All right. Uh, let's kind of wrap this one up before we do finish. Uh, uh, then we will be uh, Everton and uh, <laughs> Totten Rotten. Uh, we will go for, and we will have a Sun Window Wine Festival about the last two games for getting the first 36 games mattered. Carl is in the house. You took your time, didn't you? you? Must have been very happy with your Liverpool team. Yeah. Uh, big old Lynn uh, Simpson, the Jordy Gunner. Hey! hey. Uh, I said to saw the player to them uh, who I, I picked might have a point to prove. I'm not sure if he's going to be playing. I don't. I don't know whether. Um, yeah, if John Willett's going to be playing. I did receive a message from someone said, but you know, Joe Wick's not going to be playing on Monday night. I was thinking, right, oh, okay. Oh, I need to check that out. I need to check it out. Your wives on these podcasts should be given the middle. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah of course. Of course. Uh, you know, we did a video together. Christmas? I think it was even a Christmas that's just gone or one before that. We did a video together and I actually said to my wife, live on air, look, you know, I, I really appreciate your patience, your love, and your understanding. And she said, but, but, but you know, Alex, you know, I love you. I was thinking, ah. Oh. Uh, but no, I understand what you mean, yeah. And I do appreciate my wife. Um, I'm, although it might not seem so, but I'm more measured now with, with the content, the amount of content I do. I mean, when the, the pandemic hit the, the first year, I was going live at least three times a day. Three live shows a day. And back then we were getting like 300, 400, 500. The maximum we got was like 650 views on one evening show. But we were averaging like four or 500 views. At any one time. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm starting my show and the numbers vroom, will go up. So, but now I'm more measured, although it might not seem so. You know, I mean, I try and do the shows when my wife is not here because I don't want to clash with the quality of time I want to spend with my wife. But yeah, of course, you know. Um, yeah, I do appreciate my wife and I love my wife. I love her. You know, but a, a medal, a, if I gave my wife a medal, Lynn, that would not be enough. That would not be enough. For my wife. But point taken. If Chelsea lose all their games, Arsenal and Spurs win their Chelsea. Their... I'm not even looking that far, man. <laughs> There's still one game at a time, man. Uh, Arteta on loan. Oh, uh, you're still sticking to uh, by Leeds not going down and Arsenal not getting top, uh, top four. Carl, yes. <laughs> it's a straight answer. Yes, I am. Evening, Carl oh, uh, is uh, the, yeah, the quad still on, quadruple. Uh, John, only if Stephen Gerrard helps us out. Uh, <laughs> it'd be funny to see uh, what he does. Oops. And look at that. Now my wife is calling me. So you have to bear me a second as I as answer the phone as my wife is calling me now. So bear me a second, people. <laughs> I think she may, she may have called me. Um, oh, no. I thought she called me by accident, but she did really call me. Bear me a second, people. Uh, 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 I'm going to end the show very, very quickly. <laughs> <laughs>
question of uh, if uh, Everton uh, need to win to avoid relegation, or Arsenal need to win for a Champions League. A spot on. Uh, uh, who, who would win, Alex? Uh, I can't answer that question, man. <laughs> Everton. <laughs> Uh, is your 24 uh, live stream uh, you talked about uh, doing uh, about doing? Is this your? Never had a live stream. Thank you, Carl. If Liverpool win a quadruple, me thinks Carl should do the ice bucket challenge. Why would you want to do the ice bucket challenge if, they, if they've won the quadruple? What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what are you talking about, geese? Uh, right, okay. Um, I, I believe uh, I is going to uh, end the show. Um, so, yeah, I've got some things to do before the missus arrives home. I've got maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> got 20 minutes. I'll tell you what, people, it's 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 been um, it's felt like I've been in a, in a parallel universe. The first show I did like nine, 80 90 minutes talking to myself, and I think you know, there's nobody in the live chat. Nobody, I mean, it says on my phone that we're waiting to go live. I was thinking, I am live. I had to cancel it and go live again. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So, people, so that is it. This is not all Arsenal games are all have to win games. Yeah, must win games. Have got to win. Need to win. God, dear. Bossy verbs. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, people. Thank you for joining me on this, um, I don't know, so much a double header, but a one side live show uh, here on, on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to Canon Troy TV, please. Um, I know I've got some transfer news, and it's, it's funny because actually I've noticed now there's lots more transfer news because we're coming towards the end of the season, isn't it? So I need to limber up and get myself ready for doing transfer news videos every single day. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. Anyway, people, uh, enjoy yourselves. Uh, enjoy the game later on this evening. The Magpies versus the uh, the Gunners. I'm going for a draw. Until then, <laughs> I shall bid you farewell from this this cannon fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this 